Creating snap and ball and socket joints in Nomad Sculpt is a great way to add articulation to your 3D models. Today, I'm going to show you how to do it quick and easy. A snap in ball and socket joint is great for creating action figures, robots, interactive moving parts to toys, and prototyping. Let's see how you create functional snap and ball and socket joints in Nomad Sculpt. So we opened up our model and we created the upper part of the arm with the shoulder joint in it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to clone that arm. Now we're going to bring the clone piece to where we want it on the model. And as you can see, we're leaving about a quarter to a third of it sticking out of the shoulder of the model. And that's going to create the opening for the ball joint itself. Now, once we're happy with the placement of the arm, we're going to make it invisible. Then we're going to click on the chest and then we're going to do a voxel remesh. And that will remove the arm and leave the negative space we need in order to have our hole cut into the uh, chest piece of the model. Now we're just going to take our other arm and we're going to move it into the same place. You could take the chest and you can make it opaque and you can see exactly how your ball joint is going to fit inside of your model. Now this is where if we were doing a print in place model, we would actually make the hole a little bit bigger than the actual arm that we were in injecting. But in this place, we're doing a snap in ball joint. So remove the opaqueness from the chest and we are gonna remove our arm back out once we're happy. Now this is where we need one more step to make a snap in place ball joint. We're gonna add another primitive. We're gonna add a box. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that box to slice through the ball joint that's going to be inserted. So once we get the box narrowed, we're going to make it into a quarter to a third of the ball joint. Once we're happy with that, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to select our box. We're going to make it invisible. And we're going to then go and select our arm. And we're going to do a voxel remesh, which will cut away the piece from the ball joint. It looks, so at this point, it looks pretty good. I feel pretty good about this, and it should work pretty well. So I'm going to export this as an STL. And let's get it printed. Printing this in Bamboo Lab Studio, let's slice it up real quick and get it printed. This model had quite a few details in its face and they actually came out really nice on this Bamboo Labs printer. Let's get it off the build plate. Cleaned up and we'll snap the ball joint in. Now, as you see here, you do need to apply a little bit of pressure. So you wanna make sure your part is gonna be able to handle that pressure. So you can see it is in ball joint went in pretty easily. It's a little tight. If you wanted, you could actually make the arm slightly smaller, maybe about 2%, and it would actually pop it a little bit easier and give some more flexibility. This method offers a versatile approach to creating snap and ball and socket joints in Nomad Sculpt. Whether creating an action figure, a prototype, or a final product, mastering the ball and socket joint can add a lot of versatility into your 3D printing. For more on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making.